In this video, we'll state the rule for simplifying the logarithm of a power. And I'll write this just, well, no, might as well put the subscript there. It's true for any base. The logarithm base b of a power takes the power down in front of the logarithm, like so. So, for example, if you take the common logarithm of 7 to the power of x, that's x times the common logarithm of 7. Or the logarithm base two of X to the fifth is five times the logarithm base two of x. But, I mean, this is the important one. We can deal with powers using roots. It's exponential functions we really care about. Let's combine Example, let's combine this set of notes with the last set of notes and rewrite the natural logarithm of x to the fourth y divided by seven. so that it does not contain the logarithm of a product or a quotient or a power. So what we have here is a quotient, something divided by something else. So the quotient rule, which I haven't stated in this video, but which we've seen before, says that we can rewrite a logarithm of a quotient as a difference. And now this logarithm 7, that's in a good state no product, no quotient, and no power there. But here we have a product, this times this. So the logarithm of a product is the sum of logarithms. And now we have the logarithm 
of a power but that power can be dealt with finally using the rule we actually presented in this set of notes. And here's our logarithm completely rewritten. What we're also going to want to do, again, kind of combining this set of notes with the last set of notes, is to rewrite multiple logarithms as one. Actually, no, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and put it into the previous set of notes and also then into the previous video. We'll call this video here.